Okay, good morning everybody. We are back on the infected and today we are loaded up. We are going to run over to all three of our mines, even though copper is going to be so overloaded. But I have all these crates. We're going to just take crates. Stones we're going to discard. We don't even want the stones. But I took all the metals that we had already melted down and uh, just threw them in the racks. That's pretty much where they belonged anyways. And I figure we'll load these up and head on out, get to all of the mines, get what we need, get back here. Oh man, you're going to be trouble. Of course you are. Is it, oh, am I going to fit one there or not? We'll see in a second. Really? You're going to be problems. Oh, that first one never fit in right. Oh. And I've been getting attacked left and right all night long. This first one was a big problem. I'll put you on top of there. You didn't line up right. This one stays in truck, even though there's nothing in it. This is the one I usually put my spare gas in, which... I should have had it in here already. Close enough. Oh, yeah. Can't get any closer than that. Well, could have got that one closer, but I'm not going to be too picky right now. I just want to get loaded up. I was going to do this last night, but... Time was getting short, and I wanted to make sure I got some sleep before morning came up. Oh, I know, think I know what it is. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, I, th I thought maybe those boxes might be too close. And if you notice, I am not bringing any stone crates with, because like I said, we are not taking any stone back. I only have one of my uh, mineral extractors on stone, and we still have way too much stone. And I didn't take any of the names off these, because uh, I didn't bother. I figured, yep, don't need to, don't want to, don't have time. <laughs> uh, can I get you here without falling off? Yep. All right, we are fully loaded up. Well, not fully loaded. We can put three more boxes, but didn't have three more empties. All right, I am going to head to the aluminum mine first, and I will see you guys there. All righty. Okay, I thought I'd bring you back for this one. I went to hit the brakes, and as you can see, uh, we're on our nose. Okay, now we're back on our feet. Thought you'd get a kick out of that one. Well, since we're here, we'll stop at Cobalt. <laughs> I was going too fast for the curve. Hit the brakes, and it decided, uh, yeah, good brakes. I should have brought some iron and some frags and we could have put that gate up like we have at the other ones oh, oh give me a box give me a box uh, take one off the top why not uh, 
Okay. Let's see if I can do this quick enough without hearing the Vambi scream. Oh, I forgot to turn the pumps back on. That's all right. This makes it a little easier. Oh, not in my inventory. I don't want stones. Now, I know I can put these stones in my inventory and then turn them into sand. It's a lot lighter that way. But uh, I'm not too concerned with it. We get more than enough sand from the grinder. If you can get the grinder early game, everything seems so much easier. This just takes so long doing this. Actually, we do have that one basket here. That saves us a little time. This is good. Not that we need a lot of cobalt. We did burn up most of the cobalt we had. Oh, oh. Let's see, we got nothing from that one? And I'm not taking these crates back with me. Now, the one thing I can do is I can destroy the stone crate, and it'll get rid of everything. Now, I'm going to do that. Take all, since I'm up here. Oh, it's not going to let me act. Here it is. I'm hoping that's the one down below. I This way, the crate up on top, I can still pull out without having a problem. we got a good amount of cobalt. And I think I'm going to only melt down cobalt when I need it now. See, this one is now empty. Oops, stand up. And then the excess down here. Not bad from three extractors. Box and a half. That was good. And if I'm correct, we're going to go to the right. Yep. Oh, and yeah, no, 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 no wheelies. All right, now I'll see you at the aluminum mine. All right, here she is. One aluminum, aluminum mine back. Of course, yes, I did forget. Uh, come on. No, back up. Oh, am I stuck? Yeah. This is why we bring an axe. Oh, no, no, no. I hope we're not stuck on that. Okay. That's why I wanted to bring pickaxe, so we can get rid of those stones. Okay, let me get rid of that. Mm, as much as I want to keep it, nope. Alright, now I can grab the same box again. We got an empty one in here? Yes, we do. All right. I think I might do the same thing I did with cobalt. Grab it and dump it in there. Uh, well, 
we it looks like we're not going to be doing it on the third one. <laughs> Good amount of aluminum. Wait till we hit copper. Copper's going to be so full it isn't going to be funny. Oh, crap. Scorpions. You little boogers. Where are you at? Oh, we're, hang on. We're injured. God, I hate those scorpions. Red one, too. Where are you? I know you're still hanging around here somewhere. Little bastard. Oh man. All right, now we're outside the cave. We gotta drop all these stones. He was probably sitting there watching us, waiting for us to get off that crate. So I don't know if they can hit us when we're standing on the crate. Oh, buggers. I mean, they don't do much damage. But still, they're little buggers. That's not bad. We got a box and a half of cobalt and probably a box and a half of, uh, what do you call it, aluminum. Uh, not too bad. Can't complain there. All right, now time for the big one. Copper. Since we have five of them in there, we should get a very big amount of copper. All right, I will meet you guys at the copper mine, and we're going to seal ourselves in there for a little bit. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, we should be coming up on copper. Yep, there it is. There is a slight area you can drive up to it right here. And then hit the brakes. Now what I'm going to do is grab a few boxes here and bring them in because I am going to do a little bit of leading. Uh, no, actually I'm not because I don't have pick with me. So I guess you don't have to suffer through that. But I am going to close this gate just to be on the safe side. This way we don't have to worry about vambies. The only thing we got to worry about is those doggone scorpions. And the, oh good, we do have an empty crate here. And we didn't, it wasn't that long ago we emptied these. And I really should go after the chicken. And I know there's going to be a scorpion. I just know it. I can smell them. Where are you at, Scorpion? Should get some coal. Oh no, can't even get coal. Yeah, we ain't gonna get much copper while we're in here. Just in case you don't know this, I do a lot of my videoing back to back. So that's why these don't have Excuse me, much in them. It's hoping for a win win like that last one where it was all copper. Have to do some mushrooming soon. Oh, look at that. All stone and one copper. Oh, man. That one stinks. At least I know where all my empties uh, are going. That one's empty. I just brought two empty ones in here. I'll see the scorpions crawling around. 
wanted to see if they could actually hit me on a box. But look at all the mushrooms. I hear that chicken. I really do want that chicken. This is all we got in copper. So yeah, copper was a bust, but the main objective actually was to get aluminum and some cobalt, which we hadn't gotten in a while. And I'd really like to get that chicken. Let's move this thing back out. Get this up on top. Any place on top will do. Right there is fine. Okay, come on. And then right through here. Oh, no, no, no. Not into the tree. And then between these two, and then we're free. Mike didn't grab any of those logs from there. I'm surprised. I came out here and started chopping down a bunch of the trees. Because, because I wanted the bark and the uh, fiber. And I'm really shocked that Mike didn't grab them. As you can see, all the logs are sitting down there. And... Uh, oh, he did grab those logs. I'm really shocked that the trees didn't come back. That was quite a while ago. But all those logs are still sitting there. Alright, that one we want. Not that one. This one we want. Okay. Gotta do it the hard way. My cart is full of bears. Really need to butcher, butcher all them up. We need that one. We need this one. We don't need any Vambies right now. Um, which other one do we use? Nope. I don't have three in it. That's full. Can we take all that? No. I'm not taking 99. Well, what am I doing? Take all those, put it in the one on top. Put it in this one. That's where we can keep the bottom layer still there until we really need it. Then we'll melt all this down today and throw it in the racks, start using it. Um, we're going to start doing some renovating in the back there. Okay, now if that is everything, right? And that one is always empty. I gotta put health kits and stuff in there. Okay, so we got four crates of stuff. We gotta do something with you guys. Uh, real quick while I'm at it. Um, let's see where Mikey's at. Yep, he's glitched. When he's glitched, he runs back and forth in here. Uh, do I really need to reset him? Oh, get stuck in here. Stuff probably needs to be watered. It's one of the reasons why I want to get that uh, water house going. Oh yeah, these things are full again of spoiled meat. I don't know if he throws the spoiled meat out or not. Because every so often... Okay, that's a Vambi. That's a dead Vambi. Where are they at? Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, anyways, I don't know if he gets rid of the spoiled meat, because sometimes I'll take the spoiled meat out, sometimes I won't. Oh, by the way, these are all frags. I emptied out our grinder. That's so why I said this is great for early game. Oh, speaking of that. Uh, oil pump on, oil extractor on, turn cement mixers back on. Turn the grinder back. Turn them all on. We got 600 power. We're only using 450. Um, I emptied out our grinder. Is it like 900? So I filled up all the boxes. 
and these are all frags. I actually thought about making a double perimeter of the barbed wire fences around the base. Just for the heck of it. Make it look like a gulag. Because that's actually what it feels like with the barbed wire fence. Like we're in some kind of weird prison. But this is all the stuff that needs to be melted down. I don't know if you guys really want to watch that. Because that, to me, is somewhat a little boring. Because you figure there's... You figure 40 ingots per box. We need another forge in here. I need a lot of stuff in here. I, actually, if I move these two out, we can put a forge here. This way we can do a box at a time. It would go a lot quicker. I'd have to make more bricks. Should have did that. Should have, could have, would have. You can actually put a forge on top of a forge. I just don't like the way they look. That's why I don't do, bother doing it. But I wanted to check on our oil. With that thing being off, we probably don't have the oil. Because we need to get plastic going. Oh, and I have two more empties there. i got to get those over. We don't have a cart here. Oh, yeah, we do. we got a cart upstairs. I want to check our oil. we got seven here. Oh, I still got three cobalt. Oh, plastic cobalt on us. Okay. Not much. Not much at all. And I want to get that built. Because what I was actually thinking about doing when I was talking about the barbed wire fence. Just going out one foundation and putting a barbed wire fence. And then go another foundation out and another barbed wire fence. And then this way we have a bigger courtyard. And we can start moving these things out. Because if they do teleport, they'll teleport into another barbed wire fence and then we could just move the fence you know like I do with the uh, um, the copper mine like I just moved that to get into here we'll do that too and then this way it's still we'll still close it back off like I'll turn this back this way and close it so we have some security s still yeah Pain in the butt. Is my light off? Nope, just dark. Need to get some lighting in here. But this way, at least it's somewhat secure. We can move all these out there. Not these, but these mineral extractors. And we'll have an extra row out there of the barbed wire fences. So our inside perimeter is clear. What I come over here for? Oh. Yeah, it's up here. Next floor. Cart. What do I want a cart for? I don't know. But I said I needed the cart for something. Oh, I was stuck for a second. Oh yeah, get these other two boxes. I need these. And yeah, I, th I heard the deer, and I thought, ooh. We can kill the deer. Heck, why did it turn me around? We got all those other ones we haven't did anything with yet. Ah. Uh, okay. Now I have two more empties. I needed these. Alrighty, because we're going to need empties to put this stuff in. And personally, I don't care what they say on them. Oh, this is going to be exhausting just looking at the amount of boxes. And we're currently making more frags. I, I'm Right now, I'm still dropping the sand. We're going to need sand for the clay. But 
I'm still dropping that. Oh, why is that thing low? Sorry, Bear. I'm going to move you over there. Not building in a flat area is sort of a pain. Let's see. Does that activate Mike? Should. Not when he's glitched. I just leave him glitched. Because there's so much we got to do. I got to actually, with these frags. I'm going to make a ton of nails because I need to make a ton of repair kits. How many repair kits do we have? Yeah, you're still glitched. I think you used them all off. Yeah! Holy moly, Mikey! You used up all the repair kits. Yeah, so I'm probably going to have to make a hundred of them things. I mean, he repaired... To me, it's they're worth it. Like I said before, if I'm not playing the game, I'm watching other people play games. Got to keep myself busy somehow. Take that. Put that in there. Let's turn this on. Get us some water going. All right, what I'm going to do instead of torturing you guys is from this point, I'm going to fast forward because I'm going to start melting this stuff. When these boxes are filled, I'm going to throw them on the cart and I'm going to haul them over, throw them on the shelf until the shelves are filled and then go from there. Is that empty? That's lead. I think I got two full boxes of lead. Yep. We're going to call that a melty box because that will give us another empty. Alrighty, so I don't know how to add any kind of montage music to this, so I'm sorry about that. So you'll just see and get a good laugh, hopefully, at... Uh, my crazy antics. Oh, I gotta shut this off real quick. Use nasty caca water. All right. Well, here goes. I'm gonna be fast forward from this point on. Hopefully, you'll stick around and watch. All righty.
Okay. Bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> but I will sit there and do that until pretty much everything is melted down. And as you can see, that was just a small portion of what we have. And all that iron, I did all this, as you can see, with the fast forwarding. But yeah, there is just so much to do. We do have a lot of copper, luckily, but copper and the cobalt we're going to be turning into electronics because we're probably out of power again. Oh, no, we're not. Well, we're going to be shortly. We need to get more battery power. I guess 17,000 is not enough. Ugh, sorry about that. Had to get something to drink. Get more out here. And the grinder's not even running right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the only one on stone. And there's a bear over there. Every time I ran over there, well, just a one time you've seen, I could hear a bear. Now the grinder's running, so that'll kill our power quicker. Normally, I'll have the grinder running. And, yeah. We'd be out of power by now because it is one o'clock in the morning. I had to stop for a food break because I only had half stam. But yeah, that is a lot of work. We do have a lot of iron again. So in case we need to build anything, which that clay soil extractor, we definitely need to get that built. And we do have a lot of iron. So if we want to build ourselves a nice little double barricade around, we can. And we need to do something with all these animals. And maybe revamp this. There's so much I want to do. It's just, you know, I'm squirreling around. I need to set myself straight. Move this thing out of the way. Over here. Through the wall. There you go. Now if we want to get it from the outside, we can just come over here and grab it. I hope the devs never fix that. <laughs> Where you can push something through a wall, through a fence, and just grab it from the other side. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I do a lot of my days that uh, you guys don't see. I will run to the mines. I will pick up everything, bring it back, melt it all down. I've been going through a lot of coal. I actually had a box and a half of this, and melting this down, it just goes through uh, pretty much. That's why I haven't changed the names on a lot of these. I thought I had more copper than that. Oh, that was a box. I thought we had a box and a half of copper. Well, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it wasn't really much. We just did the mine run, and then... Uh, Melting down some uh, metals. But uh, hopefully next episode will uh, be a little bit more interesting. Maybe we'll get started on... I don't know if I want to double wall this. What do you guys think? Should we put a double wall? I mean, he's really... The Vambies are really not getting through this. Which is weird, because when we did the steel walls, when you make the actual, these walls here, uh, it's an other. When you make these walls, and then you upgrade them to cement, and then upgrade them to steel, they did some pretty wicked damage to the steel. The regular Vambies. And they were nowhere near as strong as the boss Vambi. And I don't know why he can't get through these. Well, actually, I do. It, those are designed to uh, withstand him. But, well, anyways, uh, maybe next episode we'll have enough oil to uh, do a few things. Yes, I know, Mike. I'm sorry. i got nothing for you to do right now. We're not building anything. And I'd like to put a... Actually, we'll go set in right now. The other thing I want to do, it doesn't take much power. Placeable, is that under furniture? Because I think this is going to look pretty cool. 
put a light right on the end of that. And we're also going to have to put a relay on that. Oh, no, 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 relay. Not a power box. Yeah. Because what I'm going to end up doing is... I'm going to hook the light on with the water house. Because the water house won't be on all the time. We're only going to have the water house on when we need it. Or like when we're washing our hands or we're filling water jugs. So when that light's on, we know it. Well, like I said, if, if you enjoyed this episode... Oh, look, at he came over here. You missed us. You just point your butt at me. I come over here. Did you miss us, little buddy? Yeah, we missed you too. Yeah, I know. We've been over here all day. Yeah, it's safer inside the uh, perimeter. The Vambies can't get you. I don't know if they eat you guys. I have seen... No, they don't? Okay. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, go ahead and give me a like and su subscribe if you're new here. Hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload next. But I will hopefully see you on the next episode of The Infected. And this is Gmo signing out for now, and I will see you on the next episode. Till then, bye-bye for now.